And this is the front page of the storybook. And Raven Saves the World. Written and illustrated by Bill Helene. But the Raven Saves the World again. So Raven, and he's a blue raven in this story. He relates us to what our appetite is. And he also shows us the importance of teamwork. So that's what we're going to display in this book. And this is the front page. There's Blue Raven as the finger puppet. So you want to hold him up and show his wings. And so this is, we call him Gak. And Gak in Shimshan means raven. So there's Gak. And he has a symbol on his back, which symbolizes the uh, creativity. And you can see that it's a native symbol of creativity. And that's Raven. And now we'll show the most important character. And that is... Princess Clahouya. And this is Princess Clahouya. So we'll go in the book. Let's look. You see Blue Raven on the front of the book. We're going to go into the book. There they all are. So that's all the characters that we have. The only one... Yeah, we got Moki. Or, yeah, Moki. There's Moki the Spirit Bear. And there we have Gak. And Hoppy. Hoppy's right there. And that's Hoppy the Frog. And there's Princess Clahalia. And in the story, there's a there's a dark chief. He's a chief of darkness. So when I wrote the book, I came up with a story that was very similar. Oh, we have one more character. We, f we forgot Lasky. But he's not in there. He's in there somewhere. Look, this is... He's not in that one, but there's his, that's right, there's his claws. Okay, so the start of the book shows a village. And this is where Princess Clahalia lives. And there's the canoe. We have the canoe here. And this comes with the whole set that is an interactive set of storytelling stuffed animals and a canoe. And let's show Hoppy. Here's Hoppy. And it's Hoppy the Frog. And can you put them on your finger? There's little places that you can put your fingers in them. So on the back of Princess Clahalia. Yeah. So Trinity has her finger inside Hoppy so she can move him around. And then I have my finger on, on her back. There's a little spot you can put your finger. And that way you just interact. So we're teaching about how you can tell stories with these finger puppets using the books with the characters or just your own fun environment. And it's the same with Lasky. Lasky has and a finger hole right there. So and he has a, and he has a, a on. Okay. Trinity's got Moki on her finger, the spirit bear. And so that's how we interact and can play with these. And we'll take them on a journey. And they're all going to go to Princess Clahalia's place out on an island to where she lives in the longhouse. Even though the book tells this story and it's starting to rain, but we're okay with that. So in the book, we teach about Shimshan traditions. The storyteller tells another story about Samson or the raven. And there's Princess Clahalia listening and her family members. So throughout the book, we have different... There's Lasky, the eagle. And we don't have a sun character yet that's produced by plush toys. So this is this is the uh, company that I'm designing for. They make all these beautiful plush soft, uh, they call soft stuff creations. And they're just wonderful, interactive, safe toys that you can use with all of my education books that There's I the mom have illustrated and, and written and other books through Strong Nations Publishing. So there's... That's Papa, that's, he's the big chief with the bear headdress on. And there's Mama Clahalia. That's Princess Clahalia and all the characters. So that's page one. It just tells about Princess LeMay and the Princess of Song. So throughout this, we teach about the respect of Mother Earth. And then there's Hoppy. And, and there's Loki. And... What happens to Princess Clahalia when she hears the voice of the, you know, there he is, the chief of darkness. Dun, 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 dun. Be careful of the chief of darkness because he's playing a trick. So 
you have drums and rattles, you can make any sounds that you want to go with your with your storytelling. And this one's about an evil plan by an evil man. But is he really a man? Kind of looks like a bird. So there's an introduction to all our characters that come from this book that I wrote and illustrated years ago. We'll get into more details about that later.